Ladies and gentlemen, coming now to the stage, someone significantly less ridiculously dressed <laughs> and incredibly talented. You may know him from the YouTubes. TVA Records. Woo! We also know him from Nerd Fighters. Woo! Mostly, though, we bet you just know him as the incredible Hank Green. See you, but I want you to raise your hand if you know what a quark is. Not who a quark is, but what a quark is. Okay, keep your hands up if you if you know if you understand quarks. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody does. Something's about quarks. It used to be about quarks and Amanda Bynes, but I took the Amanda Bynes part out. I just kept it about quarks. A quark is a fundamental constituent of matter. Am I getting guitar? <laughs> that guy knows what's going on. <laughs> a quark is a fundamental constituent. Of, a quark is a fundamental constituent of matter observed in 1968 through deep electric scatter. We found that protons were more complex than we thought. We thought they were solid particles, but they are not. Protons, in fact, are made up of three separate pieces. It just gets more confusing as our knowledge increases. And that is what a quirk is. It's a piece of a proton. And they also make up other things, including the neutron. Oh, up, down, strange, charm, top, bottom. If you don't know what a quirk is, it don't matter. You still got them. And with leptons and bosons and less things on this, they make up everything that we can see and that we know exists. Things made up of quarks including protons and neutrons are composite particles that physicists call hadrons. Many types of hadrons are theoretically described, but most exist for only very brief amounts of time. Quarks have electric charge, color charge, mass, and spin. And having color charge means they exist solely inside of other kinds of particles that cannot exist alone, which is why quarks have never been studied on their own. No up, down, strange, charm, top, bottom. If you don't know what a quark is, it don't matter, you still got them. And with leptons and bosons, unless something's a mist, they make up everything that we can see and that we know exists. These tiny bits of matter are part of almost everything. There is no unified theory to make it less confusing, but the fact that we've identified that they exist at all is so remarkable that I am constantly in awe. Oh, up, down, strange, charm, top, bottom. If you don't know what a quirk is, it don't matter, you still got them. And with leptons and bosons, unless something's up, they make up everything that we can see and that we know exists. Kind of that happened, and then this happened, with people cheering for a song about particle physics, so that 